Roger Murray is an incredible artist who paints in the style of classical realism. When you look at Roger's paintings, you would think he has been painting in this style his entire life. But in fact, for the greater part of Roger's professional career, he worked as a graphic artist and ran a successful business in that field. In fact, it was his work as a graphic artist that led him to Michael John Angel, an accomplished painter and instructor who introduced Roger to the style of classical realism. And at the age of 55, Roger began training and studying this method and today is a master of this technique. Why is art important? If you think about the cave drawings, uh, once people had found shelter and clothing and food and so on, they started drawing. So art seems to me the next thing in line after the essentials are taken care of. There are many different ways that you can start a painting. I use a couple of different approaches. There is the direct approach and the indirect approach. The Indirect approach is often referred to as the classical approach. The other method is the direct approach, which is also known as alla prima. And in direct painting, uh, you do very little in terms of an underpainting. With classical, I do an underpainting, I get all of the drawing resolved. Not that I draw with a pencil on the canvas, I actually draw with paint. And then I go to color. And when I get to the color stage in classical painting, that's all I'm having to worry about because I've already resolved the drawing problems. With direct painting, I've got to think more carefully about drawing and painting and color. I've got to deal with chroma, edges, um, values, all, all at once. Alla prima, basically in Italian, is uh, at the first. And uh, so it really means you want to put down that stroke. The first stroke you put down is the last stroke you put down, if you can do it. It's a challenge. The results um, are definitely different because with the classical approach, um, in a sense, I have more control. So I can make more errors and I can constantly adjust because I'm painting in very thin layers. Whereas with alla prima or direct painting, the paint is going to be going on a little bit thicker. I've got to be a little bit more sure of myself when I put that paint onto the canvas because it needs to have the correct value, the correct chroma, and I like to deal with edges right away in direct painting so that everything gets dealt with at the same time, the, the drawing, the color, everything. Creating art gives me a sense of uh, fulfillment and satisfaction even though it's uh, somewhat isolating, nevertheless, when I'm painting, there are people in the room watching me. <laughs> even though I'm on my own, I'm constantly thinking, how, how will people view this painting? I love uh, still life painting from the point of view that I have complete control over the lighting. I have complete control over the setup. And uh, I like to take very ordinary objects and kind of make them attractive. I like to put them in a different uh, juxtaposition. And I like the idea that with a still life painting, there is this suggestion that there is a human hand just outside the picture. I love painting portraits. It's, uh, it's wonderful when you can actually capture a person's spirit in a painting. It's, it's something that evolves as you're painting the painting. You 
you, you slowly begin to realize, yes, this is that person. This is, it, their personality is coming through. And that, that's very inspirational to, to see that happen. But I can also get inspiration just from painting an apple or a pear. The way people react to my art, it's, it is important from the point of view of, um, we all want to be considered uh, important in some way. We all want to be praised for the work that we do. Uh, nevertheless, um, a lot of my paintings that I do are obviously more important to me than anybody else. And uh, if somebody doesn't like a painting, it doesn't really change my opinion of my, of my own painting. Uh, a lot of the enjoyment I get from, from my paintings are the creation of them. And often I'll go back and look at a painting and I can see myself painting it. I think that art is, is very important as a language as a form of communication and I like the aspect of communicating beauty and communicating something that is uplifting in, in spirit. I'm not at a stage of my life age-wise where I have to worry about establishing myself as an artist who does a certain thing. Um, I'd rather be simply known as an artist who produces art to a certain quality. I think that would be more important to me than painting a certain genre. I don't think one should try to look into my paintings to see some deep hidden meaning. I'm not really trying to do that. Uh, I like people to look at my paintings and get an instant response. They like it or they don't like it, that's fine. Um, but I, I want to just bring some pleasure um, and I think the wonderful thing about painting, too, is the fact that every painting is unique. I believe today's program really expresses the breadth of what the visual arts encompass. Vastly different styles of painting, use of materials, and methods of application. But the end result is similar in the fact that the finished product evokes pleasure for the creator and the consumer. If you are interested in learning more about the workshops offered at Glastronomy or connecting with Roger Murray regarding art lessons, or if you'd be interested in purchasing works from any of the artists profiled on today's program, please visit our website for contact information. From all of us here, thank you so much for supporting our program and the artists that have been profiled here. In the immortal words of playwright George Bernard Shaw, without art, the crudeness of reality would make the world unbearable. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>